perfect. Hit him, hit him in the neck with the kunai. Slay a thousand senses, I'm a toast. Sipping on the sake while I'm getting toppy. Boy, you only get me. Don't be getting cocky. I know the art of giving hands. What is good YouTube? YD here back with another video for the basement challenge on UFC 3. And um Let's just say I've been training a lot more. A whole lot more. And we got connected. Or we're going to get connected, let's just say, with a boxing gym to get our hands a little more official. As you see right here, I'm trying to pick out a good fight. I want to go with the highest hype fight, you know what I'm saying, to get my name out there like you got freaking more losses than i do so it kind of makes me feel a little good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a lot of training just to get us in the game because it's gonna be a, a whole different ball game from the mom's basement even though we're still in the basement you know what i'm saying we're still doing the basement but we need to get our hands a little more official because the basement lacks us a lot you know like our endurance our grappling or ground game like I can't really learn any of that I can't get my endurance up you know um, you're not gonna be able to take a good punch so what I'm doing is trying to find a boxing gym and just strictly train them in the hands still we're gonna do bombs basement that ain't gonna change and yeah and another thing is um, I'm not gonna bore you guys with the training so I'm going to go ahead and speed that up a little bit for y'all. That way we get to the good parts. And if you want to, you can go ahead and skip ahead. But I'm just going to show you what kind of training I went to. So you guys can know I'm not out here cheating with the basement challenge. It's still the same thing, you know what I'm saying. Straight hands. Let's get it. So, one of the perks of being part of this boxing gym, we get to spar. And sparring helps you pretty much get ready for the fight. You get to fight a guy that's kind of similar, you know, kind of similar like the guy you're about to fight. So, it gives you a little edge, a little practice, even though it's not the guy, you know. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a little sparring and see how that goes. John Wick, pull up with the stick, stick. Gotta make this quick, quick. Pop a nigga, then I dip, dip. Got the bag for the flip, flip. Gotta keep a full clip, clip. Nigga show like the trip, trip. I can remember nigga being a savage. Pay my money cause I need my cabbage. Kept a double bar, come with baggage. I was ahead of full time grip. Pull up on you, nigga, I would get with you. Why you freeze up? This ain't a pitch. You said you soft, nigga, I'ma just hit you. Tell your gang, nigga, they gon' dismiss you. Respect on my name and stay in your lane. Ask the last nigga to take my chain. RP ain't the same again. Close cats cause I blow out his brain. Smashing his main, she give up the game. Told on his name because he a lame. Mr. Wick, yeah, I'm needed again. You know who to call because I don't stall. Tatted up, nigga, skinny and tall. Caught him slipping, he didn't see me at all. Mama told me I was born the ball, natural born leader, so I need it all. So watch your back, cause I'm the one they call. Assassination, no hesitation. I don't tolerate niggas faking. Put him in the field, I bet he won't make it. Fit feel like John Wick. Pull up with the stick, stick. Gotta make this quick, quick. Pop a nigga, then I dip, dip. Got the bag for the flip, flip. Gotta keep a full clip, clip. Niggas show like the trip, trip. Fit feel like John Wick. Pull up with the stick, stick. Gotta make this quick, quick. Pop a nigga, then I dip. Um, I don't feel too confident because <laughs> my guy, like I said, he's not a ground guy. But, you know, we're going to have to hope that he can handle himself in the ring. Try to get that knockout before, you know. Because most of the time when guys feel like they're about to go down, they're going to grab you. Just to either drag out time, give them time to recuperate, or try to use their skills to take you down. But, um, just hopefully, um... <laughs> We can win, the, you know. We can win and beat this dude. Hey, McLaughlin, what's poppin', nigga? Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. One stage at a time. 
This life ain't a game. MVP of the ring. And then another thing, learning some new moves, that's what we're gonna kinda do. So, got to land 10 punches without missing three. And then we have to learn some new moves from that. So, I don't know, I just like, you know, all the extra stuff you get with the gym, which is pretty cool. At your mom's house, you just be shadow boxing by yourself. You know, and it's just not much of a growth. That's the thing, that's the challenge right there though. We still gonna be in mom's basement. We're gonna do like probably one week at the gym, one week at mom's basement. Or we can just only go to the gym just for sparring matches and you know, learning new moves. And then other than that, go back and work out at mom's basement. I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Life ain't a game. MVP of the ring. Money or fame. I said money or fame. Money or fame. You can really have both. Life is so strange. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC minute. If there was a hole in the fight game of this rising lightweight star, it was clearly in his stand-up attack. But this week, he announced that he was leaving his longtime team in order to join up with a new team that guarantees an intriguing new look that will result in plenty of knockout victories. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. So here he is, ladies and gentlemen, on the main card for the first time. No more prelims for this guy, and rightfully so, given the winning streak that he has put together. Now the question beckons as the fights get bigger and the opposition gets better and his popularity grows. Can the performance dovetail with that type of pressure? There are more eyeballs on him tonight. Bigger audience in the crowd. Can he deliver as he's done so many times in the past? Joe Rogan will find out in a few short minutes. This guy has thunderous kicking power amongst the scariest kickers in the world of mixed martial arts, and his opponent has to be keenly aware of that danger. Man, is it good to see a striker of this caliber make the walk to the UFC octagon tonight, really decorated on the feet, and no surprise, he's definitely interested, Joe, in keeping this fight standing. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic tonight. Takedown defense will be a weapon of use if he can keep the fight upright. Scary for the opposition tonight. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do here is avoid grappling exchanges, utilize his outstanding striking skills, and keep this fight from becoming a ground fight. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Man, All right, now to get I don't started, know. Dude, ten years older than me, but I don't know. We'll see. I ain't, like I said, I ain't too confident because of the ground game. That's the only thing that gets me is the ground game. I'm trying to give him these hands, but you know, man, I want the hands to try to take you down. But let's see how this goes. Cause last fight, I thought the same, and you know, it turned out better, but. Let's see how it goes. Mario Yamasaki draws the assignment here. Well, the Octagon is touched down here at United Center in Chicago, Illinois. Seemingly an annual stop for the MMA leader here to the Windy City. Great to have you with us as always as we get underway. All right, round one underway here. This will be his first fight on the main card, so that bears watching here tonight. There's no denying just how successful he's been on the prelims, but now on the main card for the first time, 
undeniably the highest profile opponent and the best fighter he will have ever faced. We'll see if he can get off to a good start tonight. That's a nice clean shot. Now closes the distance. All right, so here we go with round one, and you gotta be mindful of those overhand punches if you're his opponent. You know it's a big part of his game plan every time out. It's his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it here tonight. Very swung with the haymaker. Straight right is there. Look how light he is on his feet, too. And a good jab. Lands a kick to the leg here, Joe. These guys are swinging. Just over three minutes to go. So unguarded right into the pocket, and as such, he leans right into that uppercut, left the head wide open, and I'm not sure how many more of those, Joe, he's gonna be able to take. Let's see if he gets the hands up, tries to circle out, and get that head off the center line. And he eats a right hand there. Beautiful inside leg kick. In on a single here. First takedown attempt is there. Just over two minutes to go in round one. And he gets reversed. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's trying to take the back here. He lands a big shot from the bottom. He's trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. He postures into place. All right, so he just decides to get up here, Joe. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Jam. Good punch. 20 seconds left. Oh, Big left pass. left hand. Oh. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Just picking it apart. Four, five minutes in the books. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Brittany Palmer in the building. Here we go, second round, you ready? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. All right, so here we go with round two. Good first round in the books. Both fighters had their moment. Again, I'm glad I'm not a judge, right? A difficult round to score. We will see, though, Joe, if there's an uptick in the aggression here in round two. Nice shot. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Kick lands forward there. Oh, now he has found his timing. He is doling out punishment here. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. Oh, he gets reversed. Now he's in guard. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. And he's up. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Oh, lands that punch. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, he connects there. He's inside control here. 
tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. And he's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Oh, nice shot there, nothing telegraphed about it, so he lands another takedown. They're starting to really pile up here, and his opponent can't see the entry, so heady stuff here with the takedowns. We'll see if he can execute here now on the ground. There's the kick, it's blocked. Seconds to go in round two. Good punch. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. Seconds winding down in round two. And the horn sounds on round two. Let's see some of the action here. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. Here we see an excellent kick. Amazing highlights from that round. One round coming up. I need to take him down from the beginning. Listen, take him down. Here you go, let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's Third go. round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. And he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Those punches are very hard. Oh, tagged him. And he lands the roundhouse. There he goes. Gets the takedown. Now he moves to full guard. And look at that, he's up. Total strikes. Lands a punch there, Joe. Hand speed, man. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that Bear's watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck. To Whoa! Block. He's locked! He tagged him again. Back to the feet! Oh, big left! And there's the shot, and the takedown materializes. So that's his first takedown of this round, continuing with the success he had with it in the previous round. Now let's see what he can do with it. Nice reversal here. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's looking to pass. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. With two minutes and change to go in round three. It looks to me like he's trying to turn towards either side. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Clinch now. Now he switches to double underhooks here. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. And they separate. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. So he lands yet another takedown here, and these are really starting to add up. The opponent doing a nice job getting back to his feet. The question is, for how long? And busy as he looks to improve position here. Full mount. Excellent posture here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. And he winds up on top. Oh, Oof. that was a big left hand he connected with. They go the 
15 minute distance. What a fight! And here's the end of the fight. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The dude got that look like he know he already lost. But I ain't gonna lie to you. Look at his face, look at mine. He only won because he got me with the takedowns. But who was beating up who the most, though? You know what I'm saying? I went home looking the same. This dude was towed up. I should have won. But it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of my dude. He did pretty good for a ground game. You know what I'm saying? He, he handled himself. He didn't get sus submission or none of that. You know what I'm saying? He didn't get knocked out or none of that. But he did good. I give my man's that, you know what I'm saying? I'm real confident about the next match, though. I can tell you that much. But uh, we'll see how that next match goes. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to train my butt off this time. And I'm going to for sure get that. But um, other than that, appreciate y'all guys for once again tuning in. And then if you guys want to see me play any other games, like I got all the Uncharted games, I don't know if you're into that type of stuff. Any games you guys want me to play, I'll try my best to get it and play it. Or if I already got it, I can re-download it and play it. Uh, just let me know in the comments. Give me some likes. Please subscribe. Please share. And I appreciate you guys. Tune in next time. I'm out. Hit him, hit him in the neck with the kunai Slay a thousand senses, I'm a toe Sipping on the sake while I'm getting toppy Boy, you only getting mean, don't be getting cocky I know the art of giving hands